Benavado has been uh, incredible. Uh, I've been wanting to to get over here to the Pacific Islands for a while now, um, just to yes. basically see the the work um, firsthand. I obviously, set up the DC10 fund uh, back in March and, and partner with with UNICEF. The WASH program ha has been set up in the, the Panama region and mm -hmm. the island Pentecost is one of those islands in the Panama region where mm -hmm. UNICEF has implemented the, the WASH program. So we spent a couple of days out on these outer islands and it was just such an eye opener, really inspiring. Mm -hmm. One of um, UNICEF's sayings is we never give up and mm -hmm. that we, you know, no child is left behind. And um, what's really struck me, we read about it, the fact that um, some parts of the Pacific in particular are really, really hard to um, to access, um, but the team here on the ground just don't give up, and that's the bit that I've, I've been blown away with. You know, you, you have in some instances um, women who are about to give birth who have to travel by boat and then walk a huge amount, um, you know, uh, kilometres to actually get to a healthcare um, place. You've got healthcare providers that have to walk eight hours to just go and pick up a vaccination. Yeah, you know, they don't live with a lot, but their gratitude, their smiles, their mm. energy was, was really infectious. And it, it's, it's tough, <laughs> like that. It's mm. really challenging for them, but to, to see the, the basics that they're working with and and the support that the UNICEF and through the DC team fund that we're able to to give these communities, it's, um, yeah, the gratitude is, it just blows you yeah. away. So I'd love to come back and, and see the continued progress in terms of climate change, the situation is definitely mm. getting worse. And um, whether it's Vanuatu, actually the rest of the Pacific Islands, it's it's a pretty um, scary thought about what the future will bring um, for these communities. Yeah. I have a photo. Yeah, I have a photo um, when we landed um, in um, on Pentecost Island. Mm. It's a photo of this tiny little shack that mm. looks like it's in the middle of nowhere on the side of a runway. And I was told about a massive amount of villages and school kids that had to basically use that for survival um, mm. whilst the hurricane went through. And um, you look at it and you just don't even know how that stood up to mm. you know any mm. weather um, event, but they do mm. and um, very, very life-threatening. Uh, mm. it, it's um, pretty horrific. There was uh, one area in particular, it was the, the Malsisi uh, area on Pentagos mm. Island and it got um, got really devastated by the Category 5 uh, Cyclone Harold, which is back in 2020. So when we went to visit the the community there, there was still a lot of damage. So the, the hospital, the little medical center was still completely destroyed. Um, the schools, you know, they were all being rebuilt. Um, the actual trauma that came off the back of, you know, experiencing such a natural disaster like that and completely destroying a community was you could just see that how grateful they were um, for UNICEF and, and the work that they had put in to, to you know, rebuild um, mm. bathrooms, to make sure they had access to, to clean uh, water. We very much see that the Pacific is our neighbourhood. You think about the population of New Zealand and it's actually very representative of the of the Pacific. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you look at Dan Card and the reason he's passionate is because half of his rugby friends and mm -hmm. um, colleagues were from the Pacific. So we have a huge community in New Zealand. In the situation where a hurricane goes through and destroys the safe drinking water and cleaning mm. water that becomes a massive problem for communities mm. and that's where UNICEF the team here on the ground are amazing because you know they're there before during and after thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more